Okay, now I want to talk about how racism and slavery do relate to each other. They relate to each other in the United States because the United States was founded on the idea of all men are created equal. And of course it means men, not men and women, but men. Now, in a country in which all men are created equal, how do you justify slavery? Okay, now the fact that the slaves in America came from a different continent than most of the people who enslaved them, and the fact that, um, you know, they had a, a physical appearance difference meant that there was a kind of way open. Well, these men are not equal because they're of a different race. Uh, these men are inferior in some way. And, of course, their women are also inferior and their children are also inferior. And by saying, by relating, by you were able to justify in a country founded on all men are created equal, enslavement, you could justify it by saying, well, these aren't quite men. These have something wrong with them. And um, there was also, of course, they also dragged out the old curse of ham. That was the religious justification. Part of the religious justification was the idea that black people were the recipients of the curse of ham. Um, prior to that, uh, European serfs and peasants were said to be the recipients of the curse of ham. They were the uh, descendants of Canaan. Um, Tatars were said to be the descendants of Canaan. Um, Jews were said to be the descendants of Canaan. Um, the curse of Ham is a flexible curse, applying to whoever you want to apply it to. But anyway, because of the peculiarities in America, racism kind of developed from the need to justify enslavement in a country that was founded on the whole idea of freedom and equality. Hope you liked hearing that. Bye.